All right, NFL playoff previews. This is the NFC Conference Championship game preview. The Rams against the Saints. It's from New Orleans. It's brought to you by Tunica, Mississippi, the South's premier sports gambling destination. We've got six incredible sports books down there. You can go check them all out. Remember, this Sunday, we are broadcasting live from Hollywood Casino. Make sure you come on down. We are recording at 1230. Uh, we're broadcasting it live onto YouTube. So if you're on YouTube, if you're a subscriber already, absolutely come join us, hang out. Um, if you are going to be anywhere around the Memphis area in person, come down to Tunica. They got food and drink specials, all kind of things. We will be there around 11 o'clock in the morning, and we're going to hang out until time to record at 1230. We will broadcast live on YouTube and Twitter. Uh, both of those wonderful things, wonderful platforms. We'll post it to Facebook afterwards. We'll we'll get there. But uh, but yeah, we I think we're gonna have a good time. I'm excited about it. It'll be fun. We've never done it before, and so th- this will be a first time. You'll be able to hear it, us. It may be we, a huge embarrassing failure, but be gentle. But we will have fun one way or another, regardless of anything else. We're gonna have a good time. We want to shake your hand, come out, hang out with us. Uh, tunicatravel.com is the place to find more information on all six of the sports books. Let's talk about the game. You got a feel for this yet? Yep. Start me off. Well, I mean, it's it, now if I'm just, if, if you're not asking me to do a big breakdown, it's very, very simple. It's Jared Goff or Drew Brees. That's it's, it's as simple as that. I think because Sean Payton was. Sean McVay before Sean McVay was born. Yes. that's. I think both of these guys are two elite-level coaches. I think these teams are made up. Defensively, the Rams have much more star power, but I don't know that they're that much better. No, I think I, think I agree with you. I don't, I don't believe that they are uh, – the Rams are better than the Saints. I think the Saints have proven – They are the best team in the NFL. Yes. Correct. Um, and, and it doesn't matter who plays for them. I think their scheme is really good. I, I'll tell you what I like about this game. It is two offensive coaches that are not scared of going for it and going against oh, the, yeah. the norm, right? right. So, so with the, the Saints and the Eagles, the Saints are down, and they're down 14 to nothing. And it's, what, fourth and two? And you're in a perfect spot to just kick the field goal and get the points. And Peyton says, "No, nah, I'm good. Like we're gonna go for this. Like I, I trust my offense. Yeah. They went for we're a pay- going to get fake this. punt earlier. Yeah, same scenario. I I fully believe that the Saints are the best team in football, and the Rams in this spot. They were at home last week, and even though there was a, a majority Dallas crowd." I think it was 50-50. It, we'll, all right, we'll call it 50-50. Either way, that, that may be generous. Yeah. But this will be no Rams. Oh, no. Z- zero L.A. Charger or L.A. Rams fans will and, be in attendance. Zero. It, it affected them the first time. This time, I don't know that it'll affect them as much, but it still has an effect on you. Is it strange? Is it any coincidence that three of these four teams, A, all four of the teams left, are four of probably the four best coaches in football. We we might agree with that. I can't think of anybody else that I would put with these guys. Like the Kyle Shanahan maybe, but he's not there yet. And then some of the older guys that have kind of been around and done some special things, they're not consistent enough. Well, I mean, is, is Sean Payton consistent enough? Yes, absolutely. Absolutely, Sean Payton is. Well, in my opinion – I will take Sean Payton over – I'd probably take him over Andy Reid. I, I don't like saying that because I love Andy Reid. Well, it, if Andy I had Reed to, If I wins. had to choose between these four guys, Sean, Sean's – Payton's my third. He's only my – I would take him over Sean McVay if you're talking about one year. Well, here's the thing, but in, in, right? In Sean, Payton, term, Sean Payton three years ago, you're thinking – Eh, no. it, it might be about he, time. Man, he just won a Super Bowl. It would only be about time because he was he having problems with the He didn't just win a Super Bowl. He won the Super Bowl in 07. Yeah. That's been 11 years ago. Well, three years ago, it was only seven years ago. Even still, 
the Saints had not. I mean, they were eight and eight, seven and nine, nine and seven every season for about four or five years there. So it, it's not like this team has just been a juggernaut every year. Well, no, but neither are the Chiefs. But Andy Reid has has won and made the playoffs every year that he's been in Kansas City. So they, like, they made the playoffs last year. Yeah, they did. They got put out by the Steelers. Yeah. I mean, they they have made it. Well, no, they got put out by the uh, Titans last. Titans year. last year. That's yeah, you're right, for right. But but that's Titans. that's what I'm saying. They they make it all the time. Andy Reid wins in the regular season every year. Peyton hasn't. Yeah, but when but Peyton, but when Peyton gets into the playoff, yeah. it's a whole different ball game. Anyway, so I, it, then you've got you've got the four coaches. Three out of these four teams, I would say, have the best home field advantages in football. New Orleans and Kansas City, and in New England. In New England, yeah, yeah, you're probably right. I mean, I would take the, I would take those three places over Pittsburgh, who has a great home field. Great Baltimore, great home field. I still think I would be more afraid to go into Arrowhead, the Superdome, and Gillette. Just the numbers show those teams just don't lose there. Yeah, no, you're right. That I mean, it's it's no coincidence that. You build a good home field crowd. You have good coaching. You can figure this thing out. Yeah, no, you're right about that. Three of the four crazy elite level quarterbacks. Yeah. What uh? What is the over under in this game? Over under in this game is 57. Right. 57. Now. Oh, that's right. That's right. We're I've, recording I've this, this on Wednesday, um, and so um, that's what the number is today. I got right. 57. So I, let me go on and tell you. I'm going to give you my pick now. Okay. The line is at. Three the Saints minus three and a half, and it will not move. The juice, waiting. It, the juice has has gone from minus one ten on the Saints minus to, three and a half. Now to, it's even. Now it's plus one hundred. And if you yeah. and if you take the Rams, you're laying one twenty right now. Yeah, to to do plus three and a half. So so here's what I have decided. I'm going to take it out of the numbers hands. Somewhat. I believe that these are two offensively aggressive coaches. I agree with that. I think it's going to go over the 57. Okay. And I'm taking the Saints money line and I'm just parlaying those two together. Okay. All right. That's that's my that's good, my bet. Good luck with the over. I I don't I make this clear. I never have a good feel for over/unders in the NFL. I just don't feel like I know anything about them. I'm going to guess this team's going to go under just because it's the playoffs, and teams just don't score in the 30s every time. I think that's the way it used to be. Well, that's the way it was this past week. At This past week, Outside yeah. of the Patriots putting a 40-burger up on somebody. Well, the that's, Patriots that's, put a 40-burger up. The Rams scored 30. The Saints scored 20. 20. The, uh, who else are we – who am I missing? Chiefs scored 31. Who am I missing? That's it. Those that's are the four it. winners. Yeah. So, 20. 20 is not a lot of points in the No, NFL. it's not. It, no, I'm, I understand that. But I think the Philly defense is stronger. Yeah. Than, well, I think Philly plays a different way okay. than the Rams do. I think the Rams are going to be aggressive offensively, and they're going to score points, which will make the Saints more aggressive and make them have to score points. I think this will be a close game throughout. I, 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 I don't. I don't I expect think, it to be forty-five, thirty-five like it was the last time. I think the Rams can can slow down the Saints some, but I, just, I think this could easily they, be a a thirty-four twenty-seven maybe. game, thirty-four thirty-one. That defensive front's no joke, and Dominican Sue looks like he is playing January football. He, I don't know what he did most of the season because I never we didn't talk about him a whole lot, but because he didn't do much. But now, I mean, he's he showed up Sunday. And I expect him to show up Sunday. Aaron Donald's one of the best defensive players in all of football, one of the best players in all of football, offensive or defensive. And and those guys aren't going to go quietly. No. Okay. Now, I, I think Michael Thomas has a chance to just be a freak because that's who he is. Well, and and he, if Alvin he did it Kamara, against the, the Rams the last time. That's right. And if Alvin Kamara gets loose and has one of his 200 total yardage games, um, it, could get, it could get squirrely on him. Um, I'm going to take the Saints – Minus the three and a half. I am waiting and waiting and waiting for the juice to stop moving and them to drop the hook. That's all I want. But you know what? I'm making the pick right now. Take the three and a half. I'm taking the three and a half. If if they win by three, I am a loser. That's it. I I think you can afford it at this point. I don't like to though. I know after after okay. going eight and zero, oh, 
Ain't uh, no. Y- you're all right. You're all right. That's all right. All right. That is uh, that's going to wrap up our NFC preview, NFC Championship game preview. As always, head over to NukaTravel.com. Head over to um, WinningCuresEverything.com. And this Sunday, come see us. Come see us. Hollywood Casino, 11 a.m. We'll be there. Come hang out. Shake our hands. Let us still uh, tell you thank you. We will see you guys then.